I've made more than $1.2 million from trading this year alone, thanks to one indicator that's literally so simple, it kind of feels like cheating. So today, I'm going to break down everything I know about it and show you live examples of how I use it so you can do the same. Time and sales, otherwise known as tape, is an indicator that shows orders coming in real time unlike most indicators that are lagging. The first thing you need to know to use this as a cheat code is liquidity slash walls in the market. There are two different types of orders in the market. There's limit orders and there's also market orders. Limit orders, you can set the exact price you want to buy or sell at, oftentimes having a wait time to get your order filled. Market orders, however, are aggressive orders that fill almost instantly because they fill at the current market price. There are orders waiting at every price of a stock. The market orders buy and sell through limit orders and the amount of limit orders at a specific price needs to reach zero before the market moves to the next price, which means market orders are what moves the market. Like I said, there are limit orders at every price point but most price points are insignificant and can be passed through since there aren't many orders waiting to be filled. However, in this example, there are 5,000 shares with ask at $500. You can clearly tell here that $500 is a significant price due to the amount of orders sitting there and price reversing off of it repeatedly. This is what I call a wall, or I often call them key levels on my channel. It is the market's buyer's job to remove the limit sell orders at 500 by buying 5,000 shares and then the price can continue up to 500.1. Once all orders at 500.1 are removed, we can continue to 500.2 and so on. The way we use tape alongside this concept of liquidity is we need to see the tape show orders coming in at that level. Market buyers will always buy at the asking price of limit orders and market sellers will always sell at the bid of the market buyers. So in this case, we need to see buyers hitting the ask at 500 on the tape to show that the buyers are chipping away at that seller wall. However, we don't just buy once the tape shows us that our price is getting hit. We need to see momentum in our direction to make sure we can actually break that wall and not fake out. This is where momentum comes in. Momentum on the tape is made up of two things, speed and aggression. Speed is how fast new orders are coming in on the tape and aggression is how far price is progressing. Speed and aggression can come in separately, but I tend to look for them both to come in at the same time. Now, understanding how to identify momentum correctly will make or break how useful time sales is for you. Here is what momentum looks like on the tape. As you guys can see, it's being very slow. Then out of nowhere, the relative velocity starts to increase. As you guys can see, look how fast these orders are coming in real time. Look at that. Compare that to how it was originally. Look how slow it is. And then it just starts to speed up out of nowhere. That's the momentum that we like to see. Taking a look at the time of sales on the right, you guys can see how slow this time of sales is moving. Even after it broke, there was no sudden change on the velocity whatsoever indicating that this is potentially a fake out and the probability is not high enough for me to take that. On a surface level, momentum is pretty easy to see and understand and to dig deeper and fully understand how to use time and sales as a cheat code, you need to understand one more simple concept. When you take a look at past price action through candlesticks, you can get a clue of how price will behave in the near future. This same concept applies to the same way with time and sales. The way time and sales behaved as price got to your trade idea is super important to your probability of winning. I call this relative velocity. This is all about how fast those numbers in time and sales are moving compared to what we've seen before. If things were cruising along slowly and then suddenly start to pick up speed, that's a sign that relative velocity is increasing. The main way people get faked out is through flashes of the time in sales. This is fake momentum. What we just talked about was the previous price action and the velocity of it. Take a note of how slow this time in sales is moving right now. Very slow, no sudden change in momentum, and then out of nowhere it flashes. That is exactly what we talked about is a recipe for a fake out and you don't wanna take that at all. 
Let's take a look at this relative velocity. Look how slow the time of sales is again. Very slow, not fast whatsoever in any way. Relative velocity is still the same as it was previously as we're getting to this level. Very, very slow. This increases the chance of a fake out and this is something that you don't want to take whatsoever. And then out of nowhere it flashes. That again is a recipe for a fake out. Doesn't matter where it wants to go after that. I'm just not going to be in that because the probability of it being a fake out is so high as you guys just saw right there. Real momentum literally just means that the majority of people are trading the same direction as us. When we get a flash of momentum, this means that only a few people are looking at it and not the masses. A flash happens when the velocity spikes out of nowhere and then drops back down. This is where you need to understand previous behavior of the tape in order to not get faked out. If you notice a flash at a key level after a period of slow momentum, that could be a warning sign of a potential fake out and it might be best to just hold off on that trade entirely. But if the relative velocity was already higher than previously and then you see a flash at that key level, that's your signal to go for it. By using the concept of previous price action in the tape, you could really minimize the risk of getting faked out, which is crucial for boosting your win rate. Now here's some examples of live trades that I took. You guys can see the velocity is already increased. You guys can see that it's actually increasing a little bit more and it's getting faster and faster and faster. Look how fast this is. That's the momentum we like to see. And then we wanna see that flash right at this 570, boom. That's the momentum we like to see. That's why I just got in there and this is why it has a higher probability of not being a fake out. And as you guys can see, we come all the way back down, which is exactly what we wanted to happen. And I ended up making $11,200 on that move. Like I said previously, we want to see that relative velocity increasing as well as the momentum also being there as well as aggression on this time of sales. So let's go over this and see if relative volume increases, if there's a momentum increase or if there's aggressive price action. Pretty slow so far, a little bit more of aggressive price action starting to come in, but not a lot. We broke 488, really did not see any sort of difference. We were moving a little bit on the time of sales and we have a little bit of an increase in relative velocity, but not as much as you would like. Even though I did take this trade, this was eventually a fake out because the momentum kind of wasn't there. And as you guys can see, that was a clear fake out right back up. We got stopped out for around like 8% or so, but that move just showed that relative volume did increase a little bit, but it was the same increase when it was in the twenties as when it broke 488. There was no difference. All right, now we're going to take a look at this velocity. You guys can see how fast this is going. Relatively, this is looking great because previous price action showed that it was a little slow. Look how fast this break was at that 135. That just showed us the extra confirmation that this is going to be a banger. Momentum's coming in. The tape is moving. Velocity is there. Relative to previous velocity, it just keeps increasing, showing that the buyers are there at this 135, which is looking absolutely phenomenal on this move. This should just increase your confidence even more on this trade and has a very, very high probability of continuing, and that's exactly what happened. All right, as you guys can see, this relative velocity... It's not really there. Look how slow this time of sales is moving. Very slow. It's not really moving a whole lot. Starting to increase maybe a little bit and literally nothing. And then out of nowhere flash. I don't care if this thing keeps going or what. That relative velocity is not it. As well as that breakout with that flash. Out of nowhere it flashes like that. I usually do not like that whatsoever, but I took it. There's always exceptions, but for a high probability trade, you don't want to take that, usually. 
That's a very good fundamental just to base your trades off of. And as you advance, you could make exceptions. There's always exceptions to everything. But for the main thing, just don't don't even take a trade like this. And this is probably a fake out. Yeah. So he could learn from this video as well. Like I said, relative velocity is very slow. And then out of nowhere, flashes like that. Not a good chance it's going to continue whatsoever. There's always exceptions to everything. But... To keep your win rate as high as possible, only take the best, don't do what he just did, and then just lead the rest.